What is up guys, welcome back to another creep video, and today is episode number 6, and this is my second time recording Wildlife. Yeah, at the end of Wildlife, I uh, realized my mic was off, mm-hmm. But luckily before every video I do, I back up the save just in case something goes really, really wrong. Uh, like the save gets, you know, corrupted, or I do something like that or something, you know, just to be very, very safe. And thank goodness I did, because now I gotta redo it, but... Not a big deal. Uh, Lumages were like uneventful and whatnot, so I don't really mind re-recording this one. So our build, we have the Slaga, the Maggie, the Triquetra, Triquetra, whatever. Uh, we did Clan Wars, so we did get some upgrades there. We got a Bombardier, Shield, uh, random stuff here. We found that on the floor after Clan Wars, so we did pick that up. Build's still the same, nothing really crazy about that. But I will say, next video, not this video, but next video, we are going to be jumping on a uh, much more fun build. Like, we're finally going to get a build blowing, and it's going to be a lot of fun. Let's proceed here. So, grab a Bandit Technical. And I did see in the comments, like, three or four people did ask why the Barrel Bandit Technical. The Barrel is a lot faster. If you compare it to the Sawblade one, um, it travels faster and also um, can do bigger jumps and stuff, too. So, you definitely want to get Barrel. Why is it faster? I don't know, but the game is coded to make it faster, so more speed. And plus, you know, with the speed too, we can do the uh, the skips and stuff. There's a lot of cool skips you can do with the Barrel Technical. Skipping up to the Mobling Gettle Farm or uh, ramping up a rock. Also, what we showed off in Clan Wars too, we showed that. You definitely want to do that. Also, I do want to mention I am recording this in the morning, so if I have morning voice, I am sorry. Um, I was celebrating Thanksgiving the other day. Got to see all the family and got to hang out and have a good meal and, you know, share some stories and stuff. It was a lot of fun. And this year, we got a big portion of the family together. Usually, it's not like a, a large portion of everybody out of states and stuff. But everybody got together this year, and it was a good time. Really enjoyed it. And I hope you guys had a good Thanksgiving, too, if you uh, celebrate that. Oh, I was going to do a name before I did this uh, farm today, but or this run today, but it's all good. Somebody gave me a really good name. I'm going to do that if I get back to Sanctuary. If I don't forget. Oop, that's my phone. Sorry about that. I will mute it. There we go. So, we aren't going to be farming loot midgets because we are a little tiny bit overleveled. The loot midgets are going to be level 21, and we're 23, so it, it's not likely we're going to get anything great out of them. Like, even if we rolled a Legendary Psycho, for example, it would be a plus two for all the skills. I think at that level, yeah. Below 25 would be plus two. And then if you're 38, it's plus three. No. What is it? No, 25 is plus three. Sorry. 25 is plus three. 38 plus four. And then 50 and above is going to be your plus five. So... We're not going to get a bunch out of the Legendary Psycho if we happen to get it. Alright, wait for these dudes. You just, like, dodge around until Mordecai is like, Oh yeah, by the way, you can injure the loaders. You can kill them off early, but I usually wait until, until then. And we are in a bad spot here. There we go. A lot of bullets flying around. Hopefully we don't die. Swipe this dude. Oh, we didn't get the third one. Look at that. Um, well, let's go for you. Everybody's really far away. There we go. Now we get my HP back. Thank you. And off we go. Where'd you guys come from? I didn't see you before. Whatever. Now, unfortunately, we are playing Krieg, so we can't do the grenade jump. Normally, you can jump up there and, like, do a grenade jump up uh, to skip this whole corner, but I'm not going to worry about it. And also, for those wondering, you can... Let me kill this guy. Uh, shoot the barrel right here. It'll blow up and get the electric field down. What's up, dude? Take you out. I do want to say we're not in danger right now. We're not going to die. It's all good. Oh, and you can see there, because we did... <laughs> uh, because we did get a lot of melee kills. Remember, we specced into... What's it called? Taste of Blood. Our mag is huge right now. We have 11 mag on our Triquetra. So, we're doing pretty good. Because when you get a melee kill, you get stacks, and you can transfer that into your mag. Which is very nice. It's mostly going to be really good for the Maggie. Like, the Maggie's my main right now. But if we have something, like, right in front of our face, we'll do Triquetra. Doesn't really matter that much. 
Now, I am going to swap over to the Fastfall. Even though level 13, it will still one-shot. Watch. Oop. If I don't miss. Jump back up to full HP. Luckily, after this too, we do get the, the Ruby. And we can finally actually have some healing for our builds. Right now, healing is kind of an issue. We can't get a kill with the Fastfall and like heal up. But keep in mind, eventually the Fastfall is going to drop off. So I need a secondary way to heal. Nothing attacking me. I don't see Pomone Toomba. Even if we got them, it's not a huge deal. They're mostly for the XP if we, you know, kill them. Oh, wait, we did get Toomba. I saw the backside and I'm like, wait a minute, is that Toomba? Yeah, he died. Go over here, do the classic skip for the waterfall. This skip right here is a little bit tricky. I want to show it again. Hold on. Go away. So you want to come up to the rocks and get like higher height and then do a jump from this side over here. Don't jump from here to there because you're going to bump the rock and like not make it. Stand here and then jump over and you should make it um, every time. Almost every time. Even I fail it. Not a pro. There we go. And jump up. And you might notice the waypoint's like, yo, click the button, dude. You have to. You don't have to. Not required. Now, if you do want to farm loot midgets, you can spawn at the door here. And uh, save quit and spawn there. But do keep in mind, you cannot save quit right away. Like, if you go through the door there and then um, travel out and do one loot midget farm. Uh, I gotta show you something up ahead. There's an invisible trigger, basically. And if you don't hit this invisible trigger, then you won't spawn at the door. Kill you up. Yeah, Maggie's definitely doing a lot of work here. Beautiful. Go for you. No slag either. I mean, I know we're normal mode, but still. Alright, if you're doing that, I'm gonna be throwing fastballs. It's beginning to bleed. Maybe get. Uh, hmm. I don't like meleeing stalkers, but if you land your hits, it does work pretty well. Yeah, they're all over the place. Honestly, one of my least favorite enemies in the game. Like, they're invisible, they're, you know, small, hard to hit. Not a lot of fun. Go for you. And don't get me started on the rabid version of them either. Ooh, bad. Oh, two for one. Very, very nice. Now we'll slide you up, and I believe it's a two-shot kill, usually. Yeah. Easy kill. And we are good. Now, I do make sure to kill everything out here before I do the Lumigits, because if you get spawn capped or spawn logged, like there's too many enemies in the map loaded, then the game's going to be like, mm, I can't load any more enemies, so therefore you don't get a Lumigit. And that's unfortunate. Take that. Uh, the group pick up here, if you pick it up like this, you'll pull the, um, what do you call it, the loot Midget mission through the wall, this Echo. So make sure you don't do that. Because if you pick up any Echoes during this quest for Dr. Sorters, then it will actually lower your chance for Lumigids. Yeah. Slag you. Oh, wait. Hold on. I forgot. Don't slag them in the air. You can see if I slag them early, they jump on the ground and, like, wash off slag. And now they're immune. So they have to land first, slag. And then one shot. Oh! Okay. I know people are like, oh, the leech. Oh, man. But, dude, Leech can be pretty good. It does heal, and we can stack with it. With it being corrosive, it will stack pretty good. And I'm putting that on. Beautiful. If you don't find a Leech during your farm, which you probably won't, then just stick to the fastball. You'll be fine. It'll do the damage. All right. Grab the Fetter. Thank you. And, yeah, that's pretty much uh, wildlife. I mean, we only have Bloodwing, and Bloodwing's a breeze. Uh, especially with the Skyrocket, we are going to be doing that. Grab a drink of water, give me a second here. And hopefully Mr. Shockboy doesn't, like, you know, shock me through the walls. I've seen someone lose a one life here. Uh, somebody ran a corner, and this guy, like, connected the Tesla beam through the wall and killed him. And they died up here and couldn't get a second win. It was unfortunate. Yeah, out of all the Skags, the Shock one might be the worst. Probably. Alright, up ahead there is a skip we can do, but not for Krieg. Rip. For all the other characters you can. 
Uh, you could do a grenade jump to get out of bounds and skip all the combat, but honestly, the combat's so easy, it's not really worth skipping. But you can if you want to. I mean, in some people's minds, you know, the combat's easy, so therefore, why not skip it? But in my mind, it's easy, so why not do it? Okay, looks like we got the easy spawns here. Oh, the cool thing about normal mode, too, is you don't have rabbits until, like, way later on. Like, you will never find a rabbit here, for example. But if you go to, like, Digi Peak in normal mode, you will find rabbits. I think it's, like, minimum level 30 or something for rabbits. I don't know for sure. I'll have to, like, look into that. All right. Fastball. Oh, wait, we got the lead tried. Ah, there he is. So the leech is not going to be doing much damage, but it will stack a lot of stacks for me. Because corrosive damage over time does have the longest uh, application in the game. So if you add a corrosive effect on the enemy, you're going to get a bunch of stacks. Compared to like fire or shock or anything like that. Now I've not taken the echo, I just want to check the gear. That's not terrible. Hmm. But I don't think we need it. Right. Remember, if you pick up any echoes for the quest for Dr. Sorters, it will lower the chance for Lumidgets. But considering we're done with the farm here, it doesn't really matter if you pick it up now or not. Cool. Oh, by the way, I'm not talking about like lowering your chance for Lumidgets through the whole entire game. Uh, just for that quest. The ones in the box. There we go. Oh, I think I was saying earlier before I got cut off, sorry. Um, at one point, this was a long time ago, the developers, or sorry, Gearbox did fix the Lumidget farm. Like, they stopped the Lumidgets from being guaranteed during that, uh, Dr. Sword's quest. And the community lost their minds. I'm like, dude, really? Why would you fix this, you know, so much later on? Like, everybody loved the farm, right? But, uh, they fixed it for a day. I think it was through Hotfix, I'm pretty sure. And then uh, they saw the community were like, dude, bring it back, bring it back. And uh, yeah, they ended up bringing it back, which is awesome. It's such an iconic farm. It it's like one of the fun reasons to go through wildlife research. Like, could you imagine if you didn't have the Lumidia farm? This would be one of the maps where you're just like, all right, let's just, you know, speed run through it, get done with it. I want to move on. Look at that. We're at, like almost max stacks. What is that, like 20 bag? 27. I right, heal. Maybe another Lumidget? Nope. Uh, these containers can spawn Lumidgets too, but it's only like, what, 5% chance? Okay, so right here, if you ever crash on PC, put your frames to 30. Too many frames will cause a crash due to the slag particles during the cutscene. And I've been told it only happens on the RTX cards, if you have one of those. So yeah, if you do have one, be sure to lower your frames. Like those slag particles right there will be like, yo, that's too much, man. Crash. All right, cutscene's over. And now you can go back to your 120. Oop. There we go. And this fight shouldn't be too bad. What do I want to do for this? I do want to do the... Well, starting off, let's do Fastball. And then we'll do the Skyrocket. Like, Skyrocket, again, is so dumb, dude. It does so much damage and will uh, wipe out anything, pretty much. And you can use it all the way up until level 82. And remember, we're Krieg. We can get a lot out of uh, the grenades. Wait for the animation. Yeah, so if you crash here from the cutscene, then... I would have spawned all the way back at the fast travel, and I would have had to run all the way through the map again, and that takes time. Alright, do that. So for fire, you know, not skyrocket, so we'll do... Whoop. Good snipe. Swap over to the skyrocket. Back up a bit. You can try to go for slag, but it doesn't really matter. Only one. Boom. And then one more phase. Spam Maggie too if you want to. Oh, you'll notice here I did jump a bit. 
And that's because if you jump, enemies can't track you that are based on uh, doing melee attacks. If you jump, they're just like, yo, your feet aren't on the ground, so therefore, I don't know where you're at. Say quit. Jumping's very powerful for uh, certain enemies. Alright, was that everything for this map? Oh, wait, hold on, there's one more thing. I am off today, I'm sorry. Again, I just woke up. If you want to spawn at the door, the natural selection annex, you have to run up to the door in which you open to go down to Bloodwing's Feather. Or don't open the door, but like go up and like touch it. And then go back. If you don't like get near that door, then the invisible checkpoint doesn't check off. Or the waypoint. Um, and then yeah, that will cause issues. Because then you'll find yourself safe quitting and then suddenly, you know, you're back at the start of the map. And not the door. Alright. Proceed on here. Also, I didn't forget. Let's do it. So, somebody recommended this name and I thought it was really good. Shanks. Giving. Like Thanksgiving, but Shanks. Giver. You know, giving. I like that. Really, really good. And again, I hope you guys had a good Thanksgiving if you do celebrate. Had a good time. Had lots of turkey, of course. Yeah, my plate was filled. I had like turkey, I had stuffing, I had mashed potatoes, gravy, uh, some rolls, uh, cinnamon rolls. Like, yeah, it was great. Had a good time. Oh wait, claptrap, right? Do the roofs. Nice little skip here. You can go up and over the roof and fall down and that will save you a little bit of time. What up, dude? I always check for Michael Mamaro. He can spawn there. Not often, but he can. But normally through Sanctuary, I'll check that, and then I'll check right here, too. And then inside the HQ, right here. But we didn't get him. It's a 1 in, I believe, 100 per location. It's a 1 in 10 to get him, in general. He has 10 spots, so therefore 1 in 100 for that. Take that. And yeah, let's proceed on here. Actually, hold on, I just remembered. We gotta get the ruby. Uh, now, for the ruby, I don't think I need to farm it. Um, I'm only using it for the healing. You know, swap to it, throw something, heal. A lot of people go for slag and stuff, but... For Krieg, you don't really slag with it. You can if you want to, but... Um, the, the slag chance isn't great on it. It could be a lot better. So, we're gonna do a cool trick here. I've shown it off before in previous playthroughs. We're gonna go to Bloodshot. And normally you have to chase down the caravan, or the car, with all the barrels, or the the booze, right? And the audio glitches out, it's very loud, he's hard to chase down sometimes, you know, kind of a pain. But instead we're going to do a glitch here, and make the farm quite a bit easier. And we can go for one kill on Bad Maw. Rip. Thanks for that. And now I do want to say that I'm not trying to glitch the whole playthrough, I'm not like only doing glitches, going out of bounds doing damage glitches and stuff. I'm only doing the fun stuff. Like, I will not do crazy, weird um, things that throw off the playthrough. Because I know a lot of people want to see the... What do you call it? The... The integrity of the playthrough, you know? Like, if I'm glitching the whole time, then it would be like, alright, what's the point, man? You're just cheating your way through, you know? And I see both sides of that, you know, uh, good and bad. Good for the fun and bad for, you know, you're not playing the game that right anymore so yeah the guy doesn't move here if you come through that door which is why we went to bloodshot for that and then we shoot it up a little bit like that get all the barrels and we're done cool it might be faster it might be slower i don't know for sure but definitely worth doing also this dude on top doesn't have a name hold on let me knock him off there we go move the car yeah he has no name see Poor guy. And you can knock the car off the cliff just for the fun of it, but it doesn't do anything. Okay, let's get out of here. Whoop. I can't move. Am I stuck on the car? There we go. Rip. And yeah, from here we can go to the fast travel and get out of here. Ooh, I'm definitely feeling a morning voice today. I'm sorry, guys. Again, I couldn't record last night because I was uh, celebrating with the family. Uh, We got to go to Sanctuary. You know, now I'm thinking about it. Should I farm a slag one? 
Mm, no, because slag is our slagging weapon. Like, way better for slag. So I'm not going to worry about it. Do you have any money for this? Um, I do want to upgrade... Hmm, so many choices. I think I want to go Assault Rifle. And you might be thinking, why? Later on, later on. I'm not going to spoil it yet, but some people might know who followed the Creek playthroughs in the past. Big reason for that. Boop. Well, what do you know? Cool, thanks. <laughs> when you don't want slag, or don't care for slag, but you get slag. I'm okay with that. Now the grip sucks. Hyperion, uh, don't really need that, but that is okay. Uh, we did level, so we're going to put another point into you. And again, tomorrow is going to... Uh, not tomorrow, but Monday is going to be the build. The build. I'm excited for it. Going to be a lot of fun. And yeah, off to a thousand cuts. Let's go. Now, a thousand cuts is pretty straightforward. Nothing really happens there. Uh, there is one thing you can do to make it more exciting. Other than just, you know, combat. And I will be showing off the path I do for... A thing over there. Drive over here. There we go. That is a little bit faster than running on foot. Sorry for like hiding everything. Like we're gonna do this next episode. We're gonna do that uh, when I get there. I'll explain it when I get over there. You know, you're hiding all the information. You know. For me, it's just about talking. You know, I don't want to have dead air for the for the commentary. But I do want to, you know, keep people on edge, I guess. Something's coming up. Something exciting. Maybe not exciting, but... Fun. Definitely fun. That poor buzzard. Didn't stand a chance. Now, I do try to blow up all the, the propane tanks and barrels because they can be a pain later on. You'll forget about them and suddenly they blow up from the, uh, the mortar strikes and will down you. And I saw somebody lose a one life right here to that barrel. Uh, they were running back and the mortar came down and hit them and uh, down their player. So many sad like one life deaths, man. I watch a lot of people in the community on Twitch do like one life runs. And uh, man, there's so many like unfortunate deaths. Like you could be a pro at this game, but the game will always find a way to uh, destroy your run. And to me, you know, it's smart to learn all the ways you could die in this game. The unexpected ways. Because then you know for the future not to... Uh, fall for that trap. Now, I could go for a god life. You know what? Let's do it, man. Why not? <laughs> Explosive much? Explodo. 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 <laughs> what is going on here? Okay, so before I spawn the god lights, what I want to do is kill off all the uh, the bad butts. These dudes. Hopefully no Nova Shield. The deal. Because they will insta-kill, pretty much, the uh, goliaths. And we don't want that. Also, it is a little bit loud here, but maybe not for you guys, because I will adjust the audio. But for me, it's, like, super loud. This area is, like, loud, because indoors, echoes. That's actually the main reason why the, um, what do you call it? The, the sound is loud in the game for some areas, due to the echo effect they put on. Like, this map, and Bloodshot, and a few other areas. Alright, shoot off the helmet. There we go. Also, where? Oh, there you are. And if I can, I will try to help slag for uh, for some of the enemies here. Are you okay? Yeah, now we got all the, the midgets, so it'd be easy kills. Is that a one-shot punch? Okay, we got the super. And now, we're not just going for this guy for fun. We're also going for him because he can drop a guaranteed blue or purple. And if we're lucky, we could roll something like a Ravager. That'd be really cool. Or maybe like a Diab. See, I want to slag, but I'm like, if I do, I might slag him. And that could be an issue. Oh, you don't see me. Because, yeah, then he'll take double damage, and we don't want that. Don't barrel yourself. Oh, jeez. Okay, a few more. What are we waiting on? Wait, are we waiting on... Oh, wait, there's a midget up there. See, I thought I saw something up there, but I was like, eh, never mind. Yeah. Maggie. There we go. That confused me for a second. I'm like, wait a minute. So he is ultimate. He needs hulking and then he gets his ultimate form. Or the god lion. So one more to go. Come on. 
Goliath on the loose. You don't say, Brick. When'd you notice? <laughs> so I don't know how many kills like per. I think it like gets more and more. So he needs like four. There we go. Okay, slag him up. And we'll do... You know, we got this launcher. We haven't used it yet. So, double shot. Boop. Beautiful. And we got a... Looks like we rolled a blue this time. Fire burst. Unfortunate. Whatever. Not a great roll. Oh, double shotting, by the way. I'm going to explain that. So, if you hold the fire button, tap reload while holding the fire button. And then click melee. You can double shot. And what that'll do is bypass your fire rate and let you shoot twice really fast. So if you have a really slow weapon like a launcher or, I don't know, Ravager, something that shoots slow, and then you do that, the double shot, you can fire twice really fast. There we go. And that should be it, right? Yep. And now we're going to do that trick I was talking about, or the uh, nice little thing we can do in this map. And that is uh, Lumager Farm. Yeah. So... On the way out of this map, there's at least 20 containers we can open that can have loot midgets. And like I said, it's like a 5% chance to get a loot midget randomly. So we're almost guaranteed, not guaranteed, but almost guaranteed to get a loot midget during this farm. There's a lot of containers that can spawn loot midgets. For example, this locker right here can. Uh, these two cannot. But, you know, just to make it easier for you, just open all the containers as you pass them. Uh, that can... This one cannot. Uh, this one can. That trash can can. That trash can can. Yeah. So, yeah, just open all the containers as you're waiting for brick. Hit the waypoint there for the door. And you'll have something to do, you know? Uh, that locker can. Actually, I don't know which locker here. It's one of them. That container cannot. And you might be wondering, like, dude, how do you know this? Uh, in a previous video, I did state that I've seen all the um, loot midget containers with the map editor. And, yeah, you can just tell where they are. Hey, look at that. We got one. All right. And if we're lucky, hopefully a drop. Oh. I don't know if the drop chance is lower in normal mode or uh, compared to UVHM. But it does feel lower. Like, I feel like in UVHM, I get legendaries all the time from uh, Lumigits. But in normal mode, never. Although, we did get that leech, which is cool. And actually, we're coming up on loaders. Let me put that on. Very nice. And yeah, you can see that we didn't have to like wait around long, you know, Brick's already opening the door and, you know, continuing the combat. Beautiful. And now there's a ton of containers in this map. There's some over there, some behind me, like back there. But we're only going to be going for the ones that are within our path. And you know what? We'll pick you up. I know, I know. I could have cross-mapped him, but... That's something I do for the, the playthroughs, just to have an exciting part in the video. Now, I know for a fact if I do it for this run, I'm going to be sitting there for, um, like, half an hour. You guys don't see that. Like, for the playthrough videos, we'll sit there and try to snipe face McShooty across the map for, on stream, like, half an hour. And you guys see it in, like, a minute, you know? Like, sometimes it's very painful. I don't know why I do it. it, it it's more of, like, tradition, you know? We do it for the fun of it. And while waiting on Brick, we'll do that container. Uh, there is a red chest up here, but I usually skip it. But you can go up there if you want to get it. Jump the corner. Yeah, I've always hated this section. I hate the, the wave mobbing, where you're locked to one area and you can't move on until you finish the mobbing. Well, I mean, I don't hate it, but I mean, it, it's just like you want to go on. You want to proceed. You're trying to go fast. For this dude, actually, you can have him go up here. This container, not that container. Dude in the back. Ooh, not ideal. Normally, you want to have brick up here to like uh, not have to run as far. So I tried to keep that guy alive so I could uh, have him here, but oh well, not a big deal. Get all the barrels so you don't get trolled by the mortars or get wombo comboed. And from here, I'll hit the waypoint. And if Brick can work on the beacon, I'm going to go hunt for some loot midgets. Hopefully get a couple. Maybe one more. One more would be cool. Uh, this one right here. 
over here. It's either the dumpster or the box. But it's one of them. I think dumpster. I'm pretty sure. About done. Yep. Beautiful timing. And then we'll take out a few more loaders. And now I'm pretty sure we start getting ion loaders, right? For the first time. Which ion loaders are such a pain. Yep, there's one right there. You take that. Be sure to throw because you can't stagger them and stop them from doing the bubble thing. Also, if you're wondering how I hit that, infinite vertical melee. If you're under the enemy or over the enemy and you, uh, there's two more. And you, uh, you melee. For BL1 and BL2, you get infinite vertical melee. Sadly, for the pre-sequel, they removed it. So weird. BL2 and the pre-sequel are, like, the same engine, right? But for some reason, they fixed it. On accident or something. I don't know. Weird. All the barrels. And then, yeah, for BL3 and stuff, it doesn't work. Or Wonderlands. Infinite Vertical Melee is, uh, very, very nice. Like, keep in mind, for this game, we don't have any sort of, like, range melee much. We have, like, Kunai, but, like, uh, we don't have the Face Puncher or anything like that. So, when it comes to meleeing, like, Surveyors and stuff, or Buzzards, Infinite Vertical Melee is very, very nice. There was a couple more containers that could hit up, but we're good. We got one Lumigen, I'm happy. Alright, let's get out of here. So, you, and Sanctuary. So coming up, we have Opportunity, and Opportunity's not bad. Yeah, Opportunity is one of the maps where you're just in and out, and that's it. But then after Opportunity, I think it's going to have to be next video, though, I'm sorry. But after Opportunity, we are going to be jumping on The Build. I'm excited for The Build. I know, I'm being big. I'm sorry. Now, I could farm this for a launcher, but we are level 24. And launcher's 20. And max is out for that. I'm not going to farm it. Actually, not a bad roll. We got a matching grip and rocket speed for the barrel. The metal one barrel. I'll take that. Why not? Not a terrible roll. And let's get out of here. For normal mode, I mean, launchers are pretty important for second wins. Because you don't really have a build yet. And you're going to be, you know, not being able to heal the best. So, you go down quite a bit. But when it comes to TVHM and UVHM, if you have a really, really good build by then, you don't really need to worry about launchers a ton. For some of the characters, but for Krieg, yeah. It's either you can or you don't have to, but Krieg can get a lot out of launchers. And we're not trying to speedrun, so I probably will do the launcher farms later on, for sure. Hey, get a top, yeah, that'd be nice. Ooh. Uh, maybe a better shield, too. Yeah, level 18, wow. Hmm, your TDR, what is on top? TDR, so double TDR and Vlad off. Uh, I mean, it's better for now, but it's not like that great. Dude, it's barely better, actually. Uh, hold on, let me get a better shield here. It's even blue rarity. I feel like, I know I shouldn't, but we do have the ruby now, so I feel like we're fine. Um, I'm going to buy that, yeah. I'll take that. Three runs later, by the way. I didn't put my farm up. Turtle isn't ideal for Krieg, but it'll be okay. I'm gonna put the Ruby on, put Maggie on three. Triquetra isn't really ideal for, for Krieg. Now, if you're doing Gage, you know, with close enough and stuff, really good. Or if you're doing Salvador and, um, you know, Deputy build, really, really good. But for Krieg, it's just like a close range, raw bit of damage. You don't need it. You can deliver so much more DPS with the Maggie. A lot more. Okay, from here, I am going to do the fastball because I hate when the body double gets away. Easy one shot. By the way, level 13. Uh-huh. Level 13 fastball. It doesn't matter. Oh, hold on. Uh, I'll take that. I... No, never mind. Dude, I got hit and then I picked up the shield below that. Whatever, it's fine. All right, jump here. I cannot jump. There we go. Up and over. Hit the button. And now for this dialogue, you don't have to sit there and listen to it. You can just, you know, click the button and move on. 
Like right now we have zero out of four, but he's still talking. But if I click this, boop, skips forward. And now it says one out of four, but we're getting two out of four right now. Once he's done. Or if you skip him. Do a nice skip here, jump up and over, cut the corner. And then we're pretty much done with this map. This map is very short. In and out. And now we could do the home movies mission. In fact, I might do that next episode. Because you can get a free relic out of it. A blue relic. And if you're lucky, maybe purple for the mission. Like, even though the mission shows uh, blue relics for the reward for home movies, relics are special. So they have a chance to roll a higher rarity. So if a mission says, yo, you get a green relic, then there's a chance it could be blue or a chance for purple. And so for home movies, it could be a chance for purple. But low is blue. But it would be nice to roll like bonus, maybe... Hmm, what do I even want out of that? Probably corrosive damage, yeah. For bunker. With the build. We're gonna be doing that. I'm excited for the build. I'll spoil it a little bit. We're gonna be doing bloodbath. The bloodbath stuff. And at that, I think we're gonna call it there today. I don't wanna uh, start bunker just yet. We have a lot of farming to do. So next episode is going to be an action-packed one. I'm pretty excited for it, and hopefully you guys are too. But unfortunately, I gotta go. I gotta go. Uh, thanks for hanging out today, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, and of course, if you did, then please be sure to leave a like, because that'd be awesome. And if you really enjoyed it and want to see more Borderlands content, then, you know, drop a sub. You guys have a great day, and I will see you all next time. Peace out.